Hi dear students, I would like to welcome new session. Here I am going to explain, explain the topic ecosystem. See the picture, we will be getting some ideas about the ecosystem. Here is also the plants, the water and some different type of organisms living in the water. And some of the microorganisms also living here. And it is interacting with the atmosphere, means abiotic components. For example, air and some also water. This are the everything included, means everything together into form an ecosystem. So I will tell you, I will explain to you what is mean by the ecosystem, the definition of ecosystem, the structural and the functional unit of biosphere consisting of community and the physical environment. Other means all the interacting organisms in an area together with a non-living components is called ecosystem. So ecosystem means plants, animals and the human beings, microorganisms, light, temperature and soil, water, each and everything included is an ecosystem. The each and every factor is very essential for, for our survival. For example, we need the oxygen for our metabolic activities, for digestion, digestion of food, each and every activity. So how we will get the oxygen? The, it is only possible in the help of green plants. How it is possible? In the help of plants. The plants receiving the carbon dioxide and react with the, their own water molecules into form glucose. And one more product is an oxygen. After this uh, chemical reaction, the plants emitting means releasing this oxygen into the atmosphere. As a result, all the human beings or living organisms intake that oxygen for our metabolic activities. At the same time, the plant will get the glucose for surviving the plants. This glucose utilizing for the plants metabolism, for example, growing, flowering, formation of the seed and branching which at every purpose this glucose utilizing and remaining glucose is stored in the part of plant so that plant part may be seed, flower or the fruits the human beings or other organisms that are consumed as a result we are also getting the adaptation so each and every factors in the ecosystem very essential for surviving all the living organisms so here, mentioned in the definition of ecosystem and one picture is also given here about the very simple example of the ecosystem. Here is also mentioned the animals and the people, which are other things also taking the food from the surroundings or the environment and after that uh, consumption, there is also excreting some of the waste into the soil as a result some microorganisms that are consuming this waste also for their microorganisms um, surviving. So each and every part is also interacting means in the link. Next I am going to explain the topic the components of ecosystem. Here there are two types of components of ecosystem. First one biotic component and second one abiotic component. What is mean by biotic component? The biotic component means all the living constituents in the environment is called biotic components. For example, all plants, animals and the microorganisms also example of biotic components. The second part, the second component is the abiotic component. The abiotic component means all the non-living factors is also example of uh, abiotic components. Here, the tem temperature, soil, and water, which are everything is also example of abiotic components. On the basis of nutritional relationship, it classified into three different components or categories. So here, first one, producers. The word is given the answer. 
producers means producing the food. All green plant system. So example of producers. And just before I have explained the topic, the producers means the plants producing how to produce the food in the help of sunlight. So the producers, all green plants produce their own food in the help of sunlight into um, living means uh, emitting the uh, oxygen in the atmosphere. And next one, consumers. Consumers means whatever that producers produced before, that one, the consumers consuming for their metabolic activities, for example, the small fishes, frog, grasshopper, and cow, elephant, this type of the organisms always depend on the grass for the surviving of this kind of organisms. Grasshopper always depend on the grass. So here I will explain some uh, example of food chain. In your previous uh, year, I already learned this one, the food chain. What is mean by food chain? Here one example, the grasshopper and the frog, snake and the eagle and last one decomposes. The heat part of level is most important in that uh, trophic levels. So here the grasshopper and the frog always depend on the grasshopper for their survival. And the next third level is a snake. Snake always depend on the frog. On the fourth level, eagle. Eagle always depend on the snake. The snake depend on the frog. The frog depend on the uh, grasshopper. Grasshopper always depend on the grass. So here, the energy is transforming from one place to the last four.
climatic factor means temperature, water, pressure, and each and every thing is also included in this climatic factor. It is one example of the abiotic components. And second one, inorganic substance. Inorganic substance. These are carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and the water, phosphorus, this type of the elements is included in this inorganic substance. This inorganic substance is very essential for the, all the living organisms for their metabolic activities. For example, nitrogen. The nitrogen is also help to the plants for the um, manufacturing the nitrogenous compound like the ammonia and the, uh, like the process amorification or nitrification process. As a result, the atmospheric nitrogen, the converting to the ammonia is a suitable form of consuming the plant. This uh, nitrogen utilizes the plants for their metabolic activities. And the next one is the organic substance. These are organic uh, hormones like protein, carbohydrates, lipids, etc. Proteins is also very important for the human beings as well as the plants also for their upgoing growth, for their growth and cell division, for the consumption of the energy, is an other thing. So this uh, um, lipids, uh, carbohydrate, proteins are very necessary for all the plants and animals. So these three are the abiotic components of an ecosystem, climatic factor, inorganic substance and organic substance. I have I hope all of you understood this topic. Thank you.